Hi, everybody. This is Rhonda Cobb, The Money Coach. Welcome to our show. And don't forget, the website has been just a little bit revamped. It's at rcmoneycoach.com. And for today's, today's show, we are going to bring you information that is absolutely needed for this time of the year. We are going to talk about Medicare 101 and open enrollment and the website for that is rcmoneycoach.com slash Medicare. And then you can grab your free stuff because there's going to be all sorts of wonderful information available to you. The Medicare 101 email, the how to manage your medical bills without going broke um, presentation, and a super duper bonus presentation that I worked on with this wonderful emergency room doctor out of Indianapolis, how to select the right level of care for you. So we've got boatloads of things to give away. So remember, all you have to do is go to rcmoneycoach.com slash Medicare. Now, let's talk about Medicare 101 while we have a little bit of time. It's because, you know what? About 80% of people report being confused about Medicare. And I understand that because Medicare has a lot of moving parts. And it's easy to get confused. But 80%, that's too many confused people. So I like to present my Medicare 101 with complete clarity. And uh, I hope you like it. I want you to be able to understand the parts of Medicare, A, B, C, and D. And I want you to understand Medicare options at the very least before we're done with this podcast today. And of course, when you go um, online and you grab the the freebies that are coming in your email, they're going to go into a little bit greater depth than we're going to go into here. Uh, so they're very valuable. Even if you listen to the entire podcast, you're still going to want to go grab those. Medicare is health insurance. It is a federal program created by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. And it's for people who are 65 and older and people who are 65 and under who have disabilities and people who have been recently diagnosed with end-stage renal disease. Now, When you go on Medicare, you get a Medicare card. It's red, white, and blue. And the new cards, which you always want to carry your new card, does not have your Social Security number on it. This is how you know it's your new card. The Medicare number is a unique combination. It's unique to you. And it includes a combination of letters and numbers. It also tells you what your start date for Medicare is. Or was. Some people will receive Medicare Part A and Part B automatically. Everybody else needs to enroll. The people that get it automatic are for those who have started receiving Social Security based on age, not based on disability, or people who are getting their railroad retirement benefits. And then they get a Medicare card, they're automatically enrolled, and it starts on the first day of the month that they turn 65. Now, if you're under 65 and you have a disability, you will be automatically enrolled in Part A and Part B of Medicare after you get disability benefits from Social Security or the Railroad Retirement Board for 24 years months. The 25th month begins your Medicare coverage. All right. And if you have um, end-stage renal disease or Lou Gehrig disease, you get enrolled in parts A and B automatically the month your Social Security disability benefits begin. Now, if you're covered under your company 
um, medical insurance or your spouse's medical insurance because, um, you know, you're still covered, you're still working, you're, you're 65, you can delay your enrollment in Medicare Part B. But as soon as you are no longer covered, you need to go and get your Medicare Part B insta instated for yourself, okay? Everybody else needs to apply with Social Security or the Railroad Retirement Board during the three months before their 65th birthday, the month of their 65th birthday, or up to three months after their 65th birthday. And here's a big heads up for you. If you apply before your 65th birthday, your coverage starts the first day of the month you turn 65. So if your birthday is in November, your coverage would start November 1st if you apply during October. So you don't want to miss a whole month of coverage. I don't understand why people apply late, but sometimes they do. All right, so let's define the parts of Medicare. Part A of Medicare covers hospitalization, skilled nursing, home health, and hospice care. Part B covers outpatient services, doctor's visits, durable medical equipment, lab tests, and preventive care. Part C, also called a Medicare Advantage plan, includes Part A and Part B coverage, and most offer prescription drug coverage, and they usually include extra benefits like vision and dental. Part D is a prescription drug plan, and that provides coverage for prescription drugs and it may definitely help lower out-of-pocket prescription drug costs and protect against the higher costs in the future. So now, let's talk about some options. When you first enroll in Medicare, and again, you do that through, right, Social Security. When you first enroll in Medicare, you will have what's called Original Medicare, Part A, and Part B. And as a Medicare beneficiary, you have options, okay, when it comes to selecting the coverage that's right for you. You can make additional coverage choices, like enrolling in the Medicare Advantage plan, or another option is a Medicare Supplement plan which is oftentimes called Medigap. Um, not as many people call it Medigap these days as they used to, but if somebody says, oh yeah, I've been on Medicare for years, I got a Medigap. That's what they're talking about. They're talking about a Medicare supplement. So here are the options that you can look at. You can stick with original Medicare. All right, that's part A, the hospital insurance, and part B, the medical insurance. You can stick with that. It doesn't cover quite enough, and it doesn't cap your out-of-pocket expenditures, but if you choose to stick with it, that's fine. But to that, you can add the Medicare supplement plan, and we're going to go into a little bit of depth in a minute about what that would cover. You can also add a standalone Part D prescription drug coverage. So to original Medicare, you have the option of adding either a supplement or a Part D or both. All right. The next option you have is to simply take the Medicare Part C, the Advantage plan. And what that does is combines your benefits of A and B. That's all wrapped in there. And it also gives you D and additional benefits. So those plans are more inclusive. Um, each carrier offers a slightly different plan. So that's when you get to do a little shopping. Now, 
if you're eligible for both parts A and B of original Medicare um, and you've enrolled, you can enroll in a Medicare supplement plan and the standalone prescription drug plan. Medicare supplement plans are sold by private insurance companies and they are secondary to Medicare. What does that mean? That means Medicare pays first and the supplement pays the rest. Okay, because Medicare does have a copay and it does have a deductible. But your supplement, based on what you buy, um, will cover part or all of those copays and deductibles. The other thing that you can enroll in is a prescription drug plan. Now, in the last few years, they passed a law that said pretty much everybody needs a Part D prescription drug plan unless you have um, current credible prescription coverage, say from a spouse's employer or you're still working. Otherwise, the government gives you a late enrollment penalty when you finally get around to enrolling in Part D. Part D is also sold by private insurance carriers. Some of those plans are a little bit different, so you're going to want to do a little bit of shopping. Okay. The Medicare supplement plans, um, there are standardized plans. Every supplement, so if you get a G plan or an L plan or an N plan, those are some of the popular ones, but there's a letter for all of each one. It doesn't matter which company you buy. Let's go with G as our example. If you buy it from, it doesn't matter, any company, it covers the same thing. It covers 100% of your Part A copays and deductible, and it covers 100% of your Part B copays. It does not cover your Part B deductible and it does not cover your Part B premium that you pay to the government, okay? So understand that. And Medicare supplements are a little bit different from the Medicare Advantage plan. Um, you get to enroll with no questions asked when you first turn 65, but after that, you do need to qualify in and go through underwriting. So if you're a supplement kind of person, get it when you first turn 65. Now, Medicare Part D, the prescription drug coverage, is also an insurance company product. There's standalone plans. Each one is not standardized. The standardized part is they all cover a certain amount of prescription drugs. After that, the plans are available from very inexpensive with a smaller formulary, the number of prescriptions they cover, to a little bit more expensive, but a much bigger formulary covering a lot more prescription medications. So before you just go online and you say, I'm going to just get this one, you want to review your options and make sure you make sure you know what you're getting. Now let's talk about the Medicare Advantage plan. If you're enrolled in both Medicare Parts A and B, you can enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan. Sometimes they come without prescription drug coverage, but usually that is included in the plan. These plans are offered by private insurance carriers, and they replace original Medicare. That means they pay primary. Um, the Medicare Advantage plan must, 